There we go, big brookie. Massive brookie. Let's hammer some trout this morning, fellas. Right away. Good morning, rainbow trout. There we go, first one of the morning. Here it goes. Of course they do. We got the brown guys, he's a little beat up, but we got him. <laughs> nice. Got another one, another one. Fish out. Sat this caught one, that's exciting. So you want that egg to drift as naturally as possible. I can give you a little indicator like I'm using if you want. I'm gonna go up a little bit, guys. Do a natural drift towards me. And I can tell my split shot's working well because my fly is just ticking on the bottom, which is always good. Yeah, cast it up and like drift it back like I'm doing. Like right there. Do you have any split shot? Wait. Another one. And let's plop it up there and get it right in the seam that I want. Oh, that's why. Buck trout, that's why. I'm like, he's fighting not that hard. Yeah, get another lure on him. I'll be nice to him and get it out of his face for it. The slow spot right there. Never mind, that's a fish. And he's up. And so you gotta with the bobber and the weight on there, you gotta slow down your cast a little bit because you gotta wait. You gotta load up your lock. Oh, I think you just got tangled. Got one? Nice, Seth. Get him! Yeah, buddy! Yeah! Get another one, buddy? <laughs> nice! That's a bigger one, huh? Rookie, right? Yeah. You guys don't, how, how often do you guys fish here? I'm not lying to you. I'll give you a map. I got a whole map of it in my car. Right. Oh, that is a fish. Just a small one. Yeah, if you, if you stop by uh, Lopstick, the Orvis Outfitter, yeah. they'll give you a map of the whole thing. Okay. They're right by uh, Partridge Cabins. Uh, yeah, yep, they just moved. Yeah, they, they were on the hill there and they just moved uh, on the other side of the street okay. next to the ice cream stand, basically. Right. Got it! Saw him eat it! <laughs> Welcome to fish camp, guys. Um, some of the most beautiful places in the freaking world. We're at Partridge Cabins in uh, Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, and I'm cooking in front of First Lake, and there's people out there trolling for salmon or jigging for salmon. I don't know what they're doing, but they're do doing something I want to do later. So we've hammered a bunch of fish today. As you guys saw, I'm growing up some onions. I'm making some smash burgers here in a second. And I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the view. And there's about 30 mosquitoes behind the camera right now. And I'm hoping they don't find it. Try some blackening garlic seasoning out here. <clears throat> yeah. I need more of that. 
So I always kind of like exclude this part of the trip, but a huge part of this trip is the friends and like the family that's kind of come up here every year. So this is year number 12. We've had all the way up to like 12 people um, up here. We usually rent a couple of cabins, sometimes three cabins. This year we had seven people. And let me kind of introduce you to, uh, to everybody. And uh, drinking is always a huge big part of it. So we got Alan, my daddy. We got Leif. We got Mark, who's coming up uh, a couple years. Leif's on year number, how many years have you been up here? Multiple. Eight multiple. <laughs> Same with Andy. Andy's actually the reason that we started this trip. Yep. Um, <laughs> this is number 10 for you? 10, or the, this is 11. Andy's 11. So we've been up here 11 years. And then my brother. And we got more people coming up tonight. Uh, my buddy's coming up tonight. And he be at, he's going to be at number year number three or two or something like that. Uh -huh. I think so. He's basically got into fly fishing because of me. Same with him and him. Mm -hmm. Him because of him. Um, my fault. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the reason we started the trip was my dad got Andy into fly fishing and for his, my 50th birthday. For his 50th birthday, that's how old everybody is here except for me. I'm, <laughs> I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest at, at 34. And what's the oldest? 60. Who's the oldest? Four. 64. Four. You're the oldest? Yeah. Uh, my dad's the oldest. He, you know, his. So Andy. His wife said, I need a, a birthday present for his 50th birthday. And he, you know, brought him up to Pittsburgh and that's yeah. the rest of history. So now we come uh, first weekend of June every year and it's a, it's a beautiful so spot. Stay at the same cabin almost every year. We we bounced around a couple of times. We always come back to Partridge. So, and now it's a uh, dinner time. It's a meat dinner based <laughs> with a, with a, <laughs> With a side of butter. With a, <laughs> with a side of butter and alcohol. <laughs> those are yeah. decorations. Yeah. The, we, we send those pictures to our wives what saying, funny, oh, there's vegetables on in, funny carrots. in, in this, in this, the, uh, the territory of Pittsburgh. Is it the territory they used to call it? Um, it or it was a country. Republic of the Indian Republic Stream, of right? Indian Stream. Yeah, so I'm going to make myself a Kentucky mule. And then we're gonna go troll for lake trout. So, see you out there. <laughs> There's one. Pull you upstream, buddy. Oh, that is a bigger one. Jumper. Jumper. Bigger one. There we go. Salmon. Thing is chromed up, man. Got it. Only way to get a natural drift down here. Saw him, take it. Ooh, one of the prettier rookies. He inhaled it. Mm. And he's gone. Oh, that is a bigger rainbow. Nice rainbow. They don't like the release.
Another one. Oh, and he's off. Got him. Had to do a reverse drift, guys, so I have this back eddy in front of me. And this is a big, beefy brook trout. My hand is tired. 18 all day, guys. Slightly bigger than yesterday. What is that? It's gotta be a salmon. Rainbow. Meat, what's for dinner, buddy? Here we go. Rookie. There we go. 